The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing week. We're so excited to be bringing a special series to you. We had this special series last year, and it was received so powerfully. We wanted to bring it back again, and this is the Shine series. We have a series of Shine anthologies, which is a book of multiple authors coming together that we will be releasing on September 15th. And this series, what we wanted to bring to you during this special Shine author series (laughs) is the opportunity to hear a little bit from each author that is showcased in this book. You get to hear their heart. You get to hear some of their wisdom. You get to hear a little bit of what called them to this book and what they're willing to step forward in and share with the world. And what I want you as a listener to be able to receive from this is thinking about how are you shining in the world? How are you choosing to bloom where you are right now and shine? Part of the history of this anthology is that every show I close for the three years <laughs> that we've been meeting together with Empowering Women, Transforming Lives, every show I close by saying, may you always be willing to bloom where you are planted and shine. So that's the title of this anthology, Bloom Where You Are Planted and shine. And our goal in this powerful book is to help you discover exactly how to do that. Not waiting till someday or when things feel comfortable, we feel like we know what we need to know, but choosing right now, no matter what the circumstances, that you're choosing, you're willing to bloom, you're willing to share the gifts of who you are and what you are out with the world. And we have multiple authors coming together with multiple experiences to encourage and empower and inspire you in that. We've broken the book into five different sections to be able to take you on a journey. And it starts with challenges. Oh, if there are challenges that you're facing, what do you do? How do you bloom in that? We're going to help you with that. If you're wrestling with standing in your truth and really knowing what that is. We feel like that's an important part of the journey. We have a section focused on that. Discover your beauty. We want you to not only be able to know your truth and stand in it, but really see the beauty and the wonder of who you are. And then choosing to bloom, choosing to grow those gifts, choosing to share who you are with the world. And then shining is not just sharing and letting people kind of discover you, but purposely sharing your gifts and talents out in the world. We call that shining, really sharing who you are to all of those who can be touched and impacted in a positive way by the amazing gift that you are to the world. That's the journey we are taking you through in this book. And so as a reader, we wanted to meet people exactly where they are at so that they can get the support they need real time. They can flip right to the section (laughs) that will support them. So that's just a little bit of a preview and orientation to the book and how it's structured. But what I want to do today is as we're bringing these authors to you, 
we wanted to tap into their wisdom to help you real time. You don't have to just wait for the book. We hope that you lean into the book, Bloom Where You're Planted and Shine. You'll find it on Amazon. The best-selling campaign with special rates, etc. will start on September 15th. We want to invite you to lean in. But as you are here today, we want to serve you real time. So to get the most out of our conversation today, today, I want to invite you to be very present, purposely present, to take a deep breath with us, breathing in through nose, stretching up and out. I have my arms lifted up, making extra room in my lungs and belly, and then out through my mouth like through a straw. And as you breathe like that, that helps you become very present brings in more oxygen which helps every cell of your body and it lowers your cortisol level lowers your stress level which will also help you receive what is here for you today because it is not an accident you tuned in it's not an accident that you're listening today there is something here for you and I want you willing and able to receive it so as we're here present connecting heart to heart breath to breath I want you to think about this concept of blooming where you're planted and shining. Do you feel that you're blooming? What kind of a a flower are you? What color, what fragrance, what texture, where are you planted? And in that space, do you feel like you're growing? That your roots are getting deeper, that you are shining? sharing out in the world and it's just to check in this is not judgment this is not criticism this is let's pause and check in and see and as we're checking in I want you to be thinking about what is it that would help you what is it that would help you have your roots feel stronger that you're blooming in a powerful way you're becoming that blossom that flower that amazing being that you want to be your gifts and talents are growing and then you are sharing it out in the world because here's what I've discovered about making a difference in the world most audiences I go to or I share with or I have the opportunity, even random conversations that I don't know if they're always random. I always feel like that there's a purpose in all of them. But when we're sitting next to that person and we start a conversation, if the conversation goes to what are you wanting to do in the world? Are you wanting to make a positive difference in some way? I find universally People are wanting to make a positive difference for their passing there in different shapes, different forms, but they want their life to make a positive difference. But when I ask the second question, do you feel like people really understand who you are, really understand your gifts and your talents and your ability and the way you can make a difference in the world? Frequently, And mostly, the response is much quieter or, I'm not sure, I hope so, no, I don't think so. Here's what I've discovered, that our ability to make a difference in the world is going to be limited by our visibility. If they cannot see you, if they cannot hear you, if they cannot feel you, you cannot help them. So I'm going to invite you during this special series to really focus on how can you be just a little bit more visible. Sometimes that is just being more present in your life, reaching out a little bit more. Others are called to step onto stages and step out in bigger ways. I'm not sure how you're called, but I do believe you are called because the biggest gift that you can bring the world, the way that you can make a positive difference out there is by being willing to share the gift of who you are authentically, transparently letting people know more dimensions of who you are that makes a global difference that's how we can shine in the world today we're bringing you experts that are committed to helping you do that so you're going to tap into wonderful support today so i hope you're excited let's take another deep breath together just like the one we practiced earlier (sighs) 
Wonderful. And I'm going to invite those of you who are driving, please stay alert, safe, eyes open, no texting and driving, just inwardly tuning in. But those of you who are able to really sit back in your chair, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, close your eyes, you're absolutely safe. Take another big breath, keep breathing. And as we reflect, reflect on what I opened the show with about blooming where you're planting and shining, sharing more of the gift of who you are with the world. And we asked, and we're just going to ask again, are you? Are you fully sharing who you are with the world? If you are, we want to sustain that and encourage you. So what is it that you need to keep doing that? Those of you who aren't, who are feeling, gosh, there is more that I could be sharing. There's more I could be bringing forward. Beautiful. What is it that you need? Just feel into that. It can come in different shapes, sizes, fragrances, pictures. We receive information all different kinds of ways. So just take a moment. Oh, as we're feeling into that, I want you to receive that information. What is it that you need that will support you? What is it that will help you share a little bit more of who you are? And here's the second part to this. And are willing to receive because we have to be willing to be open to do things differently if we want to get different results. So what are you willing to receive that will support you? Receive that information. Come back into the room. Big breath. Fully present. <laughs> open up your eyes. And I invite you to write down what is it that you need and are willing to receive that will support you. I want you to keep it top of mind because when we're able to recognize what we need, when we're able to see it and remember, it's a lot easier to lean in when that opportunity comes. We can get so distracted by life and busyness, we forget what it is that we needed and it can sometimes pass us by. So let's stay present, open, ready, and willing to receive. Beautiful. One more big breath. And we're going to go around our virtual room, heart to heart, and have each of my amazing guests that are joining us today share just about 30 seconds what was laid on their heart. That as we took a moment together to pause and listen, what is it that was laid on their heart? So let's take a breath so we're ready to receive. Beautiful. Great. Deb, I was wondering if you had something laid on your heart you wanted to share with our listeners. I think the big thing was to calm down, Mm. breathe, and know I can get it all done. (laughs) I love what an important reminder. We can, we can get so distracted by the next thing and feel that pressure that we can forget to pause, breathe, and trust mm-hmm. that it will all get yeah. done. Beautiful. Wonderful share. Thank you. Mary, how about you? Did you have something laid on your heart? Absolutely. And especially when you were talking about willing to receive, that was just like, ah. But I <laughs> heard courage and grace. Oh, I love that. Courage and grace. I'm writing that down. All right, calm (laughs) down and breathe. Courage and grace. (laughs) Beautiful. Thank you. And Nancy, did you have something laid on your heart? Mm, Yes. Um, It was amazing. Uh, It was basically trust my inner guidance and keep following my heart's desire. Mm. Mm. Trust inner guidance and follow heart's desire and I love that because sometimes 
we think somehow they're different. <laughs> and I love <laughs> that you've yep. woven them together. Really beautiful. Thank you. And then, Tricia, how about you? Did you have something laid on your heart? Yes, I did. It goes back to what Mary was saying when you came to the receiving part. I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, just remembering to ask for help, that I don't have to do it all alone, but just, I can ask for help and that there's people there willing and waiting to help me. Mm, beautiful reminder. That is so true. We can forget <laughs> and keep trying to push and push and do it all alone. Mm-hmm. So remembering we're not alone and it's okay to ask for help. And I like that too because it's leaning into other people's strengths and gifts, which is very rich. Mm-hmm. Mm, beautiful. Listeners, what's laid on your heart? What is it that you had laid there that came forward and did it change and shift when we added that willing to receive? Did it resonate or connect with what our guests have shared? For me, what was laid on my heart is being very present in this moment, in this time, because we are creating this show with you and for you together. And I'm excited to see what will unfold during our conversation, personally designed for each of you. So as we go in to our first commercial break here, here's how to get the most out of this time. These commercial breaks are actually secretly two-minute moments for you, an opportunity for you to process what is being laid on your heart real time, to receive that information in, to breathe it in deeply and process it. That way you don't have to add it to your to-do list. You can real-time process everything that's being shared with you. So as we finish the show and you go back into the world, it's already integrated into you and into your life. So take these two minutes just for you. Stay present. Resist the temptation to go run and cross things off your to-do list. Give yourself the gift of these two minutes. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour for Success. Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday, transformational, emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. With The Great Reveal, be ready to be inspired, awed, and motivated in your life by immersing yourself in psychology, neuroscience, mind-body interaction, and spiritual practices to elevate your journey to business and personal success. From ancient practices to scientifically-based cutting-edge techniques, guests will share strategies and methods to enlighten and empower you to design the life you desire and deserve. Visit TheGreatReveal.com. Spread positive change. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. 
Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes that you got to explore a little bit about what you need and are willing to receive. And it's always good to check in and see if it's a little bit different. There's some great information in that. So I hope you were able to spend some time just for you to dig in deeply to what it is that you need and are willing to receive. And this is an activity you can build into your life. And I find for myself, it helps me refocus throughout the day so that what I am spending time and energy on is what really matters, what I really want to bring forward in life. And I want that for each and every one of you. So let's reconnect in. So you got to hear a little bit about each of our authors in this previous segment, their heart. I think there's such a value to connect in heart to heart. And I wanted to take a moment to more formally introduce them so they're not just voices to you, (laughs) but that you know a little bit about their background. And then I'm going to have them share about what their chapter is and a little something that you can look forward to or expect in the chapter. Just want to give you a little bit of a preview, and I believe there will be something really valuable for each of you in this. So the first guest I'm going to be introducing is our amazing Nancy Monson. Nancy is already a best-selling author. She has an MA, an MBA, a CPCC. She has lots of qualifications, which is beautiful. A founder of Everyday Spirituality, a soul advocate and human design expert who's absolutely passionate about helping people live a soul directed life. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Nancy Monson to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Wow. I feel humbled by that introduction. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I am excited to, to have you joining us. And I actually, as I was introducing you and thinking about what we're going to talk about, I wanted to shift the conversation a little bit. So I would love to have you actually share why you leaned into this project and then share Mm. the chapter of your title and a little bit of what's in it. Oh, sure. Yes. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I'm so excited to be able to be part of this amazing project. It's been quite a revelation for me in my own journey Mm. of remembering, you know, what I've been through and what I've learned. The reason that this project really uh, called to me is because I know from my work with so many, uh, mostly women in my in my profession of being a coach um, and guide, sole purpose advocate, they've gone through such dark times, and I've been through mm-hmm. several of them, and I've made it through, and I really felt like I wanted people who are struggling with hard times in their life to know that there is hope and there is a way to bloom where you're planted, even if it's in a rocky place, which is part of why I titled my chapter what I did, When Life Falls Apart, Building a New Life on Rocky Ground. Mm, So beautiful. Thank you for sharing your why and the title of your chapter. And Can you give them a little bit of a flavor? I feel like you shared so powerfully your why, and I know that's woven into your chapter. But I also wanted Mm -hmm. to give you an opportunity as you were preparing for the show, if there was something laid on your heart within your chapter or what they can look forward to, I wanted to give you a chance and an opportunity to share. Yes. um, So my chapter talks about a time when my life fell apart and how I managed to make it through that very difficult time and build a life that was even more fulfilling than the life that fell apart. Um, mm. And so I, I share that, that journey. And in the process, what, my, what the readers can look forward to is I share six tips that worked for me in helping me make it to that place where I was blooming again even though I had been dealt a a huge number of difficult challenges. And Mm. I feel that that can help others as well through that journey of reinventing themselves. 
Exactly. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And i um, very excited to share your chapter um, out in our book and with the world. So thank you for being one of our amazing authors and your heart to support so many readers in this way. So thank you. Mm. You're welcome. And then I wanted to introduce each of you to Deb, Deb Dutcher, who's a health coach that helps people get back in touch with what their bodies need to help them get off what she likes to call mad body mountain. (laughs) She is passionate about helping you reclaim your health and vitality. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Deb Dutcher to the show. Welcome. Woo! Woo, I feel like I should be running down, waving (laughs) pom-poms. Well, my arms are up cheering you on. <laughs> Love I was it. dancing before the call, so I'm totally energized. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. And I'd love to have you share why this project, what drew you to this book, your chapter title, and a little like sneak preview of something they can look forward to in your chapter. All right, I will do that. Uh, First of all, I love the title of the book, Bloom Where You're Planted and Shine, because Mm -hmm. I added up how many times I've moved or changed my circumstances in my life, and it's probably approaching 40, between 13 different elementary schools, six different places to live during college, four different homes when I was married, six homes after I was divorced, and about 12 jobs. Mm. (laughs) Lots of transplanting. (laughs) Bingo. Mm. And Mm. the last one was where I just moved to a place nobody knew me. I was with a brand new husband. We didn't really know each other. We met on the Internet. And it was just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I need to be married. I want to be married. Okay, you're the guy. (laughs) Mm. And it was kind of, who am I now? How do I grow new roots? And what am I going to become? And so I wanted the chapter, which I call Be Heart Strong, to speak to the different ways our heart has to be strong, how we may feel empty, how we may feel challenged, how we may feel not validated, not supported. All of our support network is gone. What do we do now? Mm -hmm. And... I kind of pulled it all together and gave them my little four-pointer on what do you want to do and how do you want to do it. And the key as a health coach is knowing most of my people who come to me, similar to Nancy, um, they're single or divorced or widowed, and they're in their 50s or 60s, and they kind of have just given up, and they look down and they go, Where did all this come from, and why am I on this mad body mountain? And Mm. my goal is to help them get off the mountain, which can entail losing weight, but not always, but really finding their heart and soul and honoring it and accepting it. I love that, and your title is so powerful, Be Heart Strong, and it ties in so beautifully with what you share in your chapter. So thank you. Thank you for being you, for your passion and heart to do the work that you do. I'm very honored to have you in our book sharing with all of our readers. So thank you. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. I'm honored to be there with everybody. It's just amazing. Mm. And I wanted to pause for a moment, readers. I, I Well, I'm calling you readers because this is our <laughs> author call, but I know you're listeners. <laughs> so listeners, <laughs> I wanted to take a moment to really think about what... Nancy has shared, what Deb has shared, and myself as the compiler, so the compiler pulls together the the authors and the chapters and kind of leads the project so that we bring the book together and forward in a way that really serves those that we're called to serve. And as kind of the leader of this, when I have been able to talk with the authors behind the scenes, I've had the privilege and the honor to be on the journey as their chapters have come forward. What I have been so touched and impressed by is their willingness to serve, the willingness to open up their lives, even those vulnerable places, to share wisdom with you, that they want to make your path a little bit easier. 
that if they can share their journey, some of the challenges, some of the heartbreak, some of what they learned and pass that wisdom on to you so your path can be easier, that's why they leaned in. That's why they're saying yes. That's why they're wanting to walk beside you. And I want you to think about that for a moment. Are you doing that in your life? Are you remembering to share some of your journey? Are you willing to open up your life to others? Some of the people that have made the greatest impact on my life, that have inspired me, that have encouraged me on my journey, have been those that have let me walk beside them as a real human being. And they have shared the journey with me, even those not so shiny parts, and have shared wisdom learned. So I can actually skin my knees less. <laughs> I don't have to make the same mistake. And that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to step this way and stretch that way and find your way in this journey of life. And I want to encourage you to think about how can you do that? How can you share a little bit more, just not not just your strengths, but the journey of life with another? As we go into our next commercial break here, and remember, those are two minutes for you. I want you to be thinking about what Deb has shared, what Nancy has shared, what it is that you need today and are willing to receive. And how are you sharing the gift of you and all of the dimensions of the journey in life? And with that, we're going to have some additional conversations with our amazing authors when we come back. But enjoy these next two moments just for you. This is Voice America Women. We are leaders in the forward movement of women's success. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. With the great reveal, be ready to be inspired, awed, and motivated in your life by immersing yourself in psychology, neuroscience, mind-body interaction, and spiritual practices to elevate your journey to business and personal success. From ancient practices to scientifically-based cutting-edge techniques, guests will share strategies and methods to enlighten and empower you to design the life you desire and deserve. Visit thegreatreveal.com. Spread positive change. This is Voice America Women. We are leaders in the forward movement of women's success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes that you took the opportunity to process what was being shared with you from Deb and Nancy and myself and see what's being laid on your heart and what is it that you need that you're willing to receive that will help you share a little bit more of who you are with the world. We're going to continue our conversations. We have two more authors that have joined us today that have some beautiful wisdom to share with us as well. 
Oh, let's introduce Trisha Garrett. She is the owner and executive producer of Bright the Bright Light TV channel, which is on the RHG TV network. She is also the producer of the Trisha Garrett Show and Tremaya Presents, which are weekly broadcast shows, a best-selling author, and a life coach who's absolutely passionate about bringing illumination to the globe. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Trisha Garrett to the show. Yay, welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. Wow, that was nice. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for having me. I'm just excited to be here. You are very welcome. Excited to have you as well as we're sharing illumination around the world live, real time. Love it. (laughs) (laughs) Beautiful. Well, I'd love for you to share a little bit of why you were drawn to this project, why you leaned in and said yes, and then your chapter title and a little highlight or a sneak preview of what they'll find in your chapter. Okay, great. Yes. So I said yes to this project because just the title alone was really intriguing to me. Mm. It it instantly made me do an inventory of my life. Mm. And as I began to, you know, look at different areas, different things that I've gone through in my life, I was like, oh, my gosh, all these different things came up. But what was really clear to me was a day that I had (laughs) and the choices that I made throughout the day, conscious choices that I made throughout the day, titling my chapter, Blossom in the Mist of the Storm. Mm. And I think what, why I decided to to write about what I wrote about was because I, I realized so many times things happen in our lives that we feel that we don't have control over, and this is just a different way of looking at having control is kind of releasing control and saying yes to what is right now. Mm. And being very present and in the moment. Wonderful. I love that. Great, great wisdom in that. I feel like we're echoing some of that throughout today, trusting that it'll all get done, (laughs) that we can be present. Um, and we can yeah. forget that, and especially in a storm. Yeah, and it, and it goes back to what Nancy was saying earlier after the mm-hmm. meditation where she was saying, you know, trusting her inner guidance. It was a lot of that going on. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And I love your chapter and how it flows, and it's a very, um, just, you know, listeners, it was a very um, real situation that we could be in that we could choose mm-hmm different like choose your own adventure you could choose your response throughout the day and it was really beautiful to see um the awareness that she had during the day and the choices that were made so i um, excited to have you as part of this project and your chapter within our book as we're going to be sharing that out with the world so trisha thank you for being you and your passion for bringing illumination and i'm going to add love around the world Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And then we have our amazing Mary Knipple, who is known as the Writer Unleashed, founder of Your Writing Mentor. She has a journalist background, and she's passionate about you having a life unleashed and helping you tell and share your story, your words, your way powerfully in a way that helps you shine. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Mary Knipple to the show. Welcome. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. I am exactly. I am an unleashing. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so excited to be here and to be sharing with all of these powerful women. And I... As soon as I heard that you were p- compiling this, I said, I want to play too, because <laughs> I knew that I wanted to be, to be among them, to le- lend my voice with all the other wonderful women who are speaking up, up about the story that they have about blooming where they were planted. Yes. And my chapter title is Unleash 
come home to yourself. Mm-hmm. Because the theme of the whole book is women being themselves and claiming who they are, which is in alignment with my mission to support women to be visible, vibrant, and prosperous when they know their story. Mm. So what I'm sharing in my chapter is a powerful tool to allow you to unleash and come home to yourself through the seven tips to develop a journal writing practice. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that. that when you know your story and how you are designed to deliver a message to the world that you will have the impact that you're meant to have. Yes. I love that. So powerful. And thank you for for sharing. I love you, your heart, your, um, I was going to say passion. That's probably the best word for it. Passion (laughs) to (laughs) hold space for people to unleash their story. I, I love that you don't settle for them to I, I'm not a writer I can't do that you believe mm-hmm. everyone <laughs> ha, right <laughs> yeah, we've had those conversations you know that um, because I've I do. You on it <laughs> and your passion and commitment to helping people bring that forth so thank you for being you for your heart in this and joining forces with us being part of this book project and sharing the gift of you with all of our readers thank you And as I am reflecting on what Trisha and Mary have been sharing with us, and I'm thinking about this book, I wanted to just share a couple of things I've noticed. And I hope you as listeners have heard this as well, that not only are they wanting to share some of their story in a very open and authentic way with a desire and a heart to serve you, They also are giving you steps, like tools, things you can do, not just information that they hope touches your heart or a story that inspires you, but actually, here's how you can do this. Here's how you can bloom. Here's how you can overcome challenges. Here's how you can find your story. Here's how you can be present. Here's how you can move forward. Because one of the things I hear out there in the world all the time is I don't know how. And what I think is really beautiful about what these authors have put together is they're sharing the how. So I want to turn this back to the conversation we've been having listeners around blooming where you're planted and shining. That as you are doing that, as you're sharing the gift of who you are out in the world, don't forget to share some of that how. Be willing to share some of the wisdom, the inspiration, being part of that journey, but also share the how, the practical and profound things we can do in our lives. Because sometimes we take that for granted. We just do that. That's just how we're wired. (laughs) We don't realize that that is the how, that is the solution, that is the thing someone is desperately needing because they don't see the world like you see it they're not wired with your gifts and the way that you're made so i'm gonna give you a challenge here an extra credit bonus opportunity challenge to be willing to share not just who you are but share some of the wisdom some of the gifting that you have in the how to be willing to in a sense pass that baton on to another so that they can not only be encouraged and inspired but also get some of that practical and profound how to navigate through life in a way that is bringing forward what matters most to them that you are uniquely wired and equipped to share with them so let's breathe that in And I'm actually going to have us go to break here just a little bit early because I feel like this is a good moment for us to process, to 
take a couple moments to really see what's being spoken into our heart and spirit to receive that deeply. So as we go to this commercial break, I invite you to use these two minutes just for you. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. You're tuned to the Voice America Women's Channel, leading the way for your success. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Kim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour Tune in for to Success. The Just Jan TV show at justjantvshow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday transformational emerging leaders courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at justjantvshow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're tuned to the Voice America Women's Channel. Leading the way for your success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes that you have enjoyed hearing from our authors their heart why they're part of this book project and what they are bringing forward and I hope you've heard some great pieces of wisdom things that have spoken into your heart and spirit as we've been sharing with you today and I thought it would be kind of fun towards the end of the show here to play a little bit of a game I haven't let them know what the game is so they're a little bit nervous (laughs) and I assured them (laughs) they could say pass if they didn't want to (laughs) play but I thought it would be fun (laughs) if we could play a little game and have you play along and then we will share a final piece of wisdom or um, something that's laid on our heart that we want to share with you as you go back out into the world So here's the game. I'm going to share a word, and then I want, and I'll call out someone's name, and they can share what popped into their head when I said that word. One word response, not a story, one word. (laughs) So it's a speed round. (laughs) And listeners, exactly, (laughs) warning. And listeners, I want you to see what popped into your mind, too. It's really fun to see how our minds work and how we're similar, how we're different. So um, I think it's important we remember to play with each other, that we enjoy the journey, that we celebrate. So here's a way that we're going to do that together. So, guests, are you ready? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're like, oh, I think so. No, we're ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, Trisha. <laughs> when oh, I no. say the yeah. word, <laughs> when I say the word illumination, <laughs> what do you think? I think globe. I like that. And when yeah, I global. say shoes, what do you think? I'm sorry. I'm sorry shoes. Say that again? Like sh- shoes, shoes that we wear? Shoes? <laughs> oh. Oh, I think high heel shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say um, blue, what do you think? Oh, uh, peace, relaxation, mm, wonderful. water. Yeah. 
And when I say shine, what pops into your mind? I see the hearts of so many people shining. Mm, beautiful. Mm, yeah. Okay, Mary, you're up. Da da da. When I say shine, what pops into your mind? Shine. Brilliant. Oh, I like that. When I say red. Heat. Hmm. Unleash. Vibrancy. And your voice. Grace. Beautiful. And let's give, I, we didn't give um, Trisha a round of applause. So let's let's celebrate Mary and Trisha. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. You passed. Everything is great. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> you're up. Are you okay. ready? You, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I say green, Go what do you fast. think? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, when I say yellow. <laughs> Star. Okay, beautiful. I say um, soul. Power. Mm. When I say design. Your life. And shine. <laughs> Brilliantly. Oh, beautiful. Yay, Nancy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Okay, and Deb, <laughs> our final contestant. <laughs> <Are you ready? laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I say purple. Royal. Mm. When I say vitality. Energized. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't surprise me at all. <laughs> <laughs> When I say mission. Purpose. And thinking of the last word that's dropping into my heart to share with you. Joy. Mm. Radiant. Beautiful. Oh, and I forgot. I have to always say this one. Shine. (laughs) Yes. Brightly like a diamond. (laughs) (laughs) Beautiful. Yay, Deb. Congratulations. So, listener, everybody's a winner. There are no losers here today. <laughs> so, congratulations. What a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. You get to share a final amazing thought <laughs> with all of our listeners. <laughs> See, you. listeners, I've learned when you get experts together, you give them a little bit of energy. You have to always have the boundaries because they get very excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Me love too. it. I appreciate your your passion, your willingness to play with us a little bit. Listeners, I hope you enjoyed that and played along and saw what was put in your mind and your heart as we were playing with different words and if there was alignment or if there was a little bit of a difference. So it's always fun to do that and just see how we're wired, see what pops into our mind and heart. So I wanted to give each of our amazing experts with these beautiful hearts an opportunity to share in about 30 seconds something that was laid on their heart to share with you as you go back out into the world they wanted to give you as you go back out into the world. Oh, let's see. Deb, what was on your heart to share? That everyone should trust their intuition, let their heart guide them and honor their body and dark chocolate is good. (laughs) <laughs> I underline that <laughs> that was like the the biggest one that hit me dark chocolate is good <laughs> I embrace that thank you <laughs> Mary how about you what was on your heart <laughs> so my piece of advice would be to give yourself permission to develop a journal writing practice to unleash the fascinating woman you are to come home to her by getting to know who she is and what she wants. Oh, I love that with such curiosity and warmth and discovering (laughs) who we are. So beautiful with chocolate. (laughs) And Nancy, how about you? What was on your heart? (laughs) Um, This 
is one of the tips in in my chapter, um, and mm-hmm. I think for me it was the most important thing in my it has been the most important thing in my life because I've had many of these situations where my life has fallen apart. And what has helped me the most is having an advocate, having someone who I can reach out and get support from and who will encourage me and hold my hand even virtually if needed. Trisha talked about that, you know, when she shared what was on her heart. And I really feel that we need, we're not meant to do it alone. We need to have, we're designed for support. So get support. Thank you for, for sharing that. It is. we. It's not a solo journey. We need each other and be willing to bring that into your life. And then, Trisha, really fast, 30 seconds. We're almost at the okay. close. <laughs> okay. It's just being present with what's happening in the moment and accepting it. And just remembering that we, we talked a lot about visibility and just that you are being seen and how we interact with each other. That's one yes. way of being visible, mm. and and what are we leaving with that other person that we are um, interacting with? And so, just Beautiful. remember to be present with what's be, happening right now. Be present. I love that. Don't let the future or the past rob you from this moment. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so mm-hmm. much for sharing. Listeners, thank you for joining us today. It has been a joy and a privilege to um, share this time with all of you. And I want to remember and remind you. So remind myself and remind you as you go out in the world, be willing and choose to bloom where you are planted and shine. Look forward to talking to you next week. Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Thanks again for listening to the preceding program brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the preceding program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management.